I want to say good morning to Greater St. James Church family. We're just happy that the Lord has allowed us to come together one more time. We are hoping and praying that you're doing fine. But I know if you trust the God that I trust, that it is well with you. So we're praying for you today. We're just happy. And to all out in Facebook land, we honor and praise you and give honor to our Lord and Savior. We've come this morning just to bring you a word uh, of what we're going through every now and then. We have to have a word from the Lord. Amen. And uh, we're going to have a little song first. Thank you, Lord. Just want to thank you, Lord. Amen. We do thank him for allowing us to come together. Been so good. So good, Lord. We don't understand it. Sin. So, so good, Lord. You've been good to us. Just want to thank you, Lord, for truly you've been so good to all of us. Amen. Through this pandemic season, if all of us would tell the truth, you've been good to us. And we give you praise and honor. In the name of Jesus, we come. We thank you now for another night rest or early rising this morning. Thank you, Lord, for taking us through another week of no hurt, harm, or danger upon us. And we're here this morning to give you praise, glory, and honor. Thank you, God. We ask now that you look on great St. James, all of our members. Lord, we ask that you bless each and every one of them. Bless them in a special way. Not only our member, Lord, but we ask that you just bless mankind everywhere, wherever he may be found. Bless today, God. We ask that, Lord, as we go through this pandemic season, Keep us under your blood. I've been praying, keep us under your blood. And Lord, you've been doing just that. Keep us safe, Lord. And those that are going through bereavements and, 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 and those that are have this virus, we ask, Lord, that you restore them back whole again and give these families who lost love one, give them strength to keep on keeping on. Bless, Lord, mankind everywhere. 
do it, Lord. We give your name the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We do thank God today, as that song says. That's a beautiful song. And if all of us would just really take time out for a few moments and look at what and how the Lord has been good to you. And you just ought to throw up your hands right now where you are and say thank you, Lord. Amen. Our scripture today coming from Psalm, the fifth Psalm, Psalm number five. We're going to look at the third verse. And it says, My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. And in the morning I will direct it to you. And I will look up. Amen. My voice you shall hear it in the morning, O Lord. And in the morning I will direct it to you. And I will look up to you. Amen. Amen. I want to use a subject this morning. You got to keep up your maintenance. Amen. Keeping up your maintenance. Amen. Amen. When we think about maintenance today, the word maintenance, we're thinking about, I don't know about you, but when I started out as a young man and uh, my, 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 my dad gave, boy helped me with my first car and I can remember him buying it, helping me to get it. And he would say to me, son, it's a nice car, it's in good shape, but you got to keep up the maintenance. You're going to have to keep it. You're going to have to keep it all checked. And then after so many miles, you're going to have to change the oil in order that you may have a long life with this automobile. If you keep up the maintenance, the car will last you a long time. All of us are familiar with keeping up maintenance around your house. Amen. I've been at my little place for over 30 years, and there's some things i got to do now to keep it up. Amen. Maintenance, we have to do. Sometimes you have to paint. So, amen. Sometimes you have to change doors and windows and different things. Even inside, you have to do certain things to keep it up. Maintenance. Amen. So that everything will run smooth and, and, and will last you a long time. And so this morning, when I look at the fifth song, it is uh, the song. It's a song of David. David is praying and giving God uh, what is due to him. David here this morning is letting us know that uh, there are so many things in life that we have to maintain but uh, to keep maintenance on. But he says this morning in this word, in his word, we've got to keep maintenance up in our spiritual life. Yeah, yeah. He said taking each day to read the Bible, pray, and to listen to God is a key element in avoiding breakdown. My brothers and sisters, in other words, what David is saying to us, you can't serve God and don't ever pray. You can't stay strong in God if you don't ever stay in his word. You've got to stay in his word. Uh, David says so much, too many breakdowns around us is because we're not rooted and grounded in God's word. Yeah, so he's telling us today that we need to stay in the word. And look at David in, in, in this fifth uh, Psalms, he said, my voice you hear in the morning. And oh Lord, in the morning I will direct it to you. And in the following verse, he pulls out his heart in praise, thanksgiving, and request of God. Many people find it essential. I don't know about you, but a lot of people uh, find it very important to begin each day with the Lord. Amen. You ought to start the day out with the law before you go check your email before you catch the news 
Or even before you sit down and eat breakfast, you ought to find some quiet moments along to read a portion of God's word. Yeah, yeah, you ought to find some time to fall on your knees and give God praise and pray to him to, to, to seek his guidance and to seek God's love. We ought to spend some time every day with the law that helps us to maintain our spiritual uh, strength in the law, our spiritual power in the law. Yeah, it, 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 we need everything to find ourselves checking our mates, making sure everything is all right with you and God. And if you want to stay rooted in the Lord, David in the song say, I'm going to pray every morning. You want to hear my voice. Every morning you want to hear me and I'm going to direct my prayer to you. And I will look up to you because I need strength, guidance, and direction for the day. Well, my brothers and sisters, as I come to a close, we've been in this pandemic season for over five months. And I do believe that many of us have had our time to meditate. We've had time to maintain and to meditate and to bring some maintenance in our life. We ought to be able to pray because you got time to do it. You ought to be able to get the word and read it day by day. You ought to be stronger in this pandemic season than you've been when you went into it. I'm glad this morning that every now and then I have to fall down on my knees and I have to say, Lord, help me please. And the Lord come to my rescue. Lord, help me. Direct me. Show me the way. And I declare God to do and so what I'm saying basically today is all of us need to keep our maintenance up, especially with the Lord. And you can do it two ways. Pray, stay in his word. David said when you're rooted and grounded in God's word and prayer, you'll find yourself being stable. Amen. I like that part. Being stable. Stability. Amen. I'm stable today. I don't let the little things come by and knock me off track. I'm stable. I don't let things people say that, that, that say about me or say uh, about things that will mess me up. I'm stable in God's word. Because I do know if I let God fight my battles, everything will be all right. So I say to you, name my clothing, keep up your maintenance. Keep it up. And you can do it because you got time to do it. Find your little secret place and call on his name. Find your little secret place. Get your word out and get rooted in God's word. For the word will never change. And my brothers and sisters, if you do that, God will get glory out of your life. So I'm glad today as I take my seed as I come to a close. Thank you, God, for bringing us through these last five, almost six months of a pandemic season. And I'm glad because, God, you've been by our side. You've been with us when I go out, when we come in. You kept this virus away from us. And, God, nobody could do that but you. And so I give you praise and I give you glory. I give you honor. We love you, God. And we're going to stay in your word and we're going to keep praying because somehow, somewhere, you're going to work it out sooner or later. God's going to work it out. Pray for me, I pray for you that God will keep us 
in this case,